Hi there, my name is Sunny Apollo, and I'm here with my two dogs, Magnum on the left and Sunny on the right. Today, I'd like to talk to you about dog grooming. Every single dog needs to be groomed. They need nails cut, ears cleaned out, coat brushed, coat shampooed, and possibly fur trimmed. For this, you will need a bunch of supplies. So the first set of supplies you need is nail supplies. These can range from guillotine, slaw style or scissor like trimmers, to filing tools like emery boards or power rotary tools. You also need styptic powder in the event that you cut into the quick and make it bleed. I have cut the quick too many times so I have found a dog groomer around the corner for me that I just walk into with my dog and it costs me five dollars per visit. The nails need to be done approximately once a month so that's about forty five sixty dollars per year and each of those other pieces of equipment range anywhere from eight dollars to up to thirty five dollars. You will also need to clean your dog's ears. You need to keep your dog's ears clean or they can get an infection. In order to keep them clean, you will need ear cleaners to clean out the ear, such as um, cotton balls or wipes. You also need ear powder and hemostats to take out the extra hair that may be in their ear canal. My dogs have never had a problem with this, so I've never had to use hemostats. But you need to ch check your dog's ears regularly. You can tell if your dog has an infection as the odor is quite strong and probably your dog will be shaking his head. You may have to take your dog to the vet and get some medication prescribed in the event that there is an infection. I had one dog that seemed to have a problem with his ears once or twice a year, so out came the ear cleaner and cotton balls, and that seemed to do the trick. You also need to possibly do eye care with your dog. My brother's dog seems to have stuff that accumulates at the corners of both of her eyes, so we need to use sterile eye wash pads in order to clean her dog's her her uh, eyes out. There are a variety of brushes and combs that are that are available because there are so many different types of dog fur and hair. So you might need to use a slicker dog brush or a bristle brush, dematting rake dog brush, undercoat rake rake dog brush, wire pin brushes a grooming mitt, a de-shedding tool, or flea combs. These all range in a variety of prices, but they can be from about $5 to $30. You will probably need more than one brush to deal with the upper coat and the undercoat. You will also need some shampoo. It's best to get a shampoo that's specifically made for your dogs that range from tear-free oatmeal natural shampoos or medicated that are prescribed by a vet. These can range in cost from anywhere from five to $25. And some people like to put conditioner on their dogs and that can range anywhere from seven to $20. You also might need some clippers and scissors. If you are lucky like I am, you won't need to deal with this category. Golden Retrievers do not need haircuts. Short-haired dogs also do not need haircuts. But there are a number of dogs that do, that need to have their hair cut regularly. You can either use scissors if you're just doing a trim, or you can use clippers. The features and quality of the clippers will determine the price. They range anywhere from $50 to $200. If your dog has a thick coat that mounts easily, a lower priced clipper just won't do the job properly. My brother's Portuguese water dog needs clipping every six to eight weeks. He tried to lower price clippers, but he needed to go with the $200 clippers in order to get through all of her hair. He used to pay to get her groomed, but because of the amount of hair she had, it cost him $150 per time. So by learning to do it himself, he has saved himself a lot of money. 
If you do not think that you can cut your dog's hair or fur, then expect to pay anywhere from $50 to $150 per time to get your dog groomed every six to eight weeks.